so now so we are just continuing the ipv6 any cache addresses which we discussed just now so now the yahoo server when you are sending a request to yahoo server there are multiple servers placed in different locations and they are formed as a cluster and referred as a group so now the request will be forwarded by any one of the servers nearest to that so to implement this type of things so for this type of implementation we have something called any cache address which was introduced so now what is the advantage we get here in ipv6 when we compare with ipv4 so now if i take these are all servers and multiple servers not only this if you talk about hsrp vrrp options which we'll see in switching concepts in ccnp so there also we can apply it means whenever you have multiple devices acting as a single device okay so now in case of ip version 4 if i take this blue as ip version 4 i need to have a separate ip address for each and every device because you know in ip version 4 you cannot assign the same ip address for multiple devices because as they are connected to each other so if you do that then there is a possibility of conflict now which means in the any other device will not be able to work and apart from that you have to group them now you have to group them and you have to refer with a common public ip that is let's say 200111 is the registered ip which is used for hosting that server on the internet as a cluster ip the group ip address but if i take an example the same implementation ipv6 in ipv6 i can assign the same ipv6 address so let's say i'm using this 2001 colon colon 1 in the form of ipv6 so i can assign the same ipv6 address for each and every device which i want so i'm going to use the same ipv6 address for all the devices over there so 2001 colon colon 1 so but now you can ask me why there is no conflict here so now where what i am going to do is i am going to assign the same ipv6 address for multiple devices so all the devices as they are the same copy so they are having the same copy of information they are just like clones they have the same information now but i am going to define this address is not a normal unicast address because in case of normal unicast address you get a conflict so i'm going to define all these addresses as any cast so when i define it as any cast now the device will understand that there are some other devices in the network also having the same ip so now if a packet comes for 2001 let's say this router now this router will look the nearest server or nearest 2001 so it has information about this as well as this as well as this so it has information of all these things so it is going to forward the packet to the nearest 2001 server and there's no possibility of conflict because so when i define it as any cast the device will understand that there are multiple servers having the same ip v6 address and they are also doing the same job so it it will not forward to everyone it is going to be forwarded resolved by anyone on the network okay so to implement this this type of any cast address has been defined now the last thing there's no broadcast now there's no broadcast in ip version 6 and also on a single interface we can assign multiple ipv6 addresses so no broadcast id here in case if there is any broadcast it simply uses multicast addresses for the complete group so it still uses multicast to all the devices in the network okay so i hope you got a very good understanding on different classification of addresses the first classification which we discussed unicast and then we discussed multicast in the previous video and then we have seen any cast addresses okay so the next part so once we are this is a major part of ipv6 because many people have a very very big confusion on how the address looks how they are classified and how to assign, how to assign is not a big deal so now from here onwards from the next video on, which will be seeing so it is going to be the easiest part of ipv6 so why it is easiest part because the implementation part is same as what we do in ipv4 the only difference is wherever we use ip command we have to use ipv6 the practical part is going to be very easy because you are not going to learn any new routing protocols the same protocols which we discussed the same protocols are used here as well and also we don't really need to learn any new technology for this so once you have a very good understanding the foundations these are all these are the major part in which we discussed and once you have a very good understanding on this part the next part is going to be very easy okay so the next thing will in the next video we'll be seeing how to assign the ipv6 addresses on the interface and what are the different methods of assigning the ipv6 addresses 
So probably we'll be focusing on that part in our next video. Okay, thank you.